All right, so this is the Reverend Sam uh, and the Church of the Ever Spinning Wheel holiday special, a very Shubali Chris Christmas, <laughs> with my very special guest, uh, Mishka Shubali. So, uh, before we start to explain to everybody who you are, uh, I mean, I know because I'm a fan. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Melissa knows because she's a fan. Um, Logan acts like he's a fan because he loves us. Uh, he wears your sweatshirt and stuff and, and your t-shirt. I'll school. take those pity likes all day long, man. I would too, actually. <laughs> I could use some pity likes. It is Christmas after all. Um, so uh, you're a, you're a best-selling author, uh, traveling musician, touring, internationally touring musician. Yeah. 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 Uh, comedian. Uh, Ish. I yeah. saw your last set. Your your. It was funny because yeah. after that show, you were you kept saying like a nice thing followed by a nice thing followed by a nice thing, and I know you, so I was waiting for the come down. No, it I, was I, that I, good. It never came. No, that it was that good where I wasn't able to actually like crack a joke at your expense. It, it kind of bummed me out. I'm glad I could ruin your night, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm in it for. The last time I saw you play, it, you had a, you were pretty much, it was a lot of stand-up comedy in between your songs. Yeah. I, um, I mean, you know, I mean, there's no excuse, or there's no, there's no substitute for shoe leather. You know I mean? It's like if whatever you want to do, it's, you know, it's the fucking 10,000 hours, whether you're, you're, you know, whether you want to be a fucking boxer or you're riding a bike or telling jokes, you know, and, um. I have been on the road a shitload the last couple of years. And, you know, through Stanhope, I kept winding. I mean, it started out because like, I just kept winding up on these sort of like open mic comedy nights. And I was like, I'm funnier than these guys. But everybody thinks that. It's a lot harder than it looks. And, uh, but yeah, man, you just, you just keep grinding, you know. No, I completely agree because I'm way fucking funnier than you. Uh, <laughs> but I'm funny in the garage. Uh, you were actually funny on stage, you know. I was way funnier before your show and after your show than you were on stage. Um, and you should probably aspire to someday be as funny as I was. Uh, but I don't, I don't think that anybody has quite that much talent. Now, okay. on stage, I couldn't personally do it. Um, but... I, you know, I have always looked up to you, so... Uh... <laughs> Which, <laughs> but only kneeling. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. When I'm sitting down, I look up to you. Yeah. Okay, so I prepared a couple of questions. Oh God, here we go. Yes, are. all right. Because these are. This is very important. Uh, the hard hitting journalist. Well, I'm a journalist. I, yeah, so you know, I, know you I, I think of myself as a journalist. So, so I know you're originally from Canada. Were you allowed to celebrate Christmas since Canada is a socialist? country ruled ruled by sharia law jesus christ <laughs> well um you know when we when we take off our hockey skates and you know walk into our dirt floored uh, teepees speaking canadian to each other we uh <laughs> i i can translate because i'm from northern michigan so i speak a bit of canadian yeah i do that's good. i do it's good bilingual right yeah <laughs> i knew english was your second language <laughs> So that's a no then, no, no Christmas and yeah, no. I mean, I um, my uh, my family's all like hardcore Catholic. Um, my mom comes. Yeah, I've met your mom. She yeah. guilted the fuck out of me. Yeah, no, yeah. she's good for that. But she's the second of seventeen, so that like you don't get much more Catholic than that. You know, throwing a little molestation and you know you're there. I have a very my my family background is extremely similar. We're very, very, very Irish Catholic. I know you're not Irish by your yeah. height, but <laughs> second question. I Wait, see was that was that the softball? That was the easy question. Now you're gonna move into the harder. Oh, oh yeah, ones? yeah, right, yeah. Oh, it gets way worse as it goes. Uh, I see some vaguely social justice warrior posts on your Facebook, so I have to ask, why do you hate white people so much? Fucking Chad Shank took me took. I was just talking shit about him today because he like t 
took you know took me to task for the fucking SJW thing, which is hilarious because Chad's married to a brown woman who was like you know five foot nothing. Yeah. And anytime anybody looks at her wrong, he fucking snaps. Oh yes. And it's like he cares about all the same shit that I do. He, he does. Just, uh, he just doesn't post about it. Yeah. Um, but um, what was the question? Why do I hate white people? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, mayonnaise, American cheese. There's a, I, I, I love American cheese. Yeah, no. So, follow-up question. <laughs> How much of the year do you spend training for the war on Christmas? <laughs> 364 days. That's what I thought. That's what I yeah. thought. <laughs> so, last question. Why so tall? The, uh, I didn't, it's not... That was the last question, by the way. All right, good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, not, it's not something I had a choice in, man. It's just, uh, it just happened early and, uh, and kept happening, I guess. My, uh, and my it kept happening. I mean, you're like yeah. nine and a half feet tall. My, uh, my nephew is 16, and he's got two inches on me now. And he's taller than me. <laughs> About six months ago, Logan became taller than me, which isn't hard to do. I'm 5'5". Five, five. Uh, Did you take him back behind the woodshed? To, like, I promised him for years. I'm like the second if you're ta if you ever get taller than me, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. And uh, and, and then like, I Dad, you're beating the shit out of me right now. And he realized that he was yeah. I mean, I, mentally for sure, uh, he was a half inch taller than me, and he ran. He ran for it. He just. He didn't even get to wait for his mom to be proud. He just ran. You're only gonna get older and softer. He uh, he's he looks like a fucking coyote right now. He he's does. gonna he's gonna outlast you. To be fair, when you measured it, I was wearing shoes and you weren't, so <laughs> he's he's still trying to avoid the meeting. <laughs> he's like are you actually the red yeah. lights on yes, and everything? On. Are you doing it. your fucking job? I've been checking in this whole time. God. Fucking kids. It's man. on. You're gonna beat them on camera. Oh yeah, that's my plan. I did promise my YouTube channel what followers that <laughs> I would abuse my son on camera whenever possible. Would you mind playing uh, a song or two for my wife and kid? Because that's all I'm getting them for Christmas. <laughs> you you really blow it out for Christmas. Like I, I really do. do. The um, yeah, let's do it. For me, uh, I. I'm serious, I haven't picked up a guitar in a week. I've just been fixing like fucking leaks at my house and shit, so we'll see how this goes, but. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move to right here, and then I'm just gonna stare at you lovingly while you do it. So you can just give me the hairy eyeball the whole time. Is there, uh, is there anything particular you wanna hear, or I should just do whatever? Uh, oh, what's the, I can't remember when you were mine. That is my absolute favorite song by you. All right, let's see if I can, uh, let's see if I can bust it up. Let's out. see if you can fuck that up and ruin my memories yeah. of this great song. Now, a little side story to this song. While we were storing your crap when you were moving, and we had a, an entire spare room full of boxes labeled Mishka Shubali, you know, sent via post, uh, I would walk into that room, and then that song would come into my head, you know, box, boxes and boxes of unlabeled crap. If this motherfucker dies, we're about to inherit a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because when you're writing a song, you want to you want to try and nail a moment or a feeling or something that's going to resonate. And then with that, man, it's like, I, I got it too good. And now it just comes back to haunt me. But, um, all right, we'll see if I can bust it up. Boxes and boxes of unlabeled crap. If I die now, will they ever get on? Boxes and boxes of unlabeled crap If I die now they will never get unpacked I can't remember when you 
were mine I can't remember when you were mine I can't remember when you were mine 2003 feels like 1989 child of mine And that nightstand I built for you Is it lonely for me alone in your bedroom Does it cry at night or does it understand as you Tremble underneath your new man's hands. I can't remember when you were mine. I can't remember when you were mine. I can't remember when you were mine. 2003 feels like 1989. child of mine All those messages that you've been receiving that I can't remember leaving It's a small relief still It's a good thing you're deleting without listening They disappear like pennies Down a wishing well Tiny good intentions on the road to hell I'll go bankrupt and that well will overflow before you'll forgive me and let me come home I can't remember when you were mine No, I can't remember when you were mine No, I can't remember when you were mine. No, sufficiently bummed everyone out with that. <laughs> I was <laughs> <It's> like, way <laughs> stoked. <laughs> I was like, fuck yeah, I thought he actually played it. <laughs> I always forget what a bleak song that is until I get Oh, it's a very it bleak song, like, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Which always reminds me of you, which... <laughs> it's depressing shit. So, is there something... Oh, I, that's funny, because uh, after that last show in Tucson, I believe I yelled right before your show... Play the happy song! And then you yelled, fuck you, and flipped me off. Which was kind of rude. Yeah. You can <laughs> leave me a Yelp review for that. <laughs> what would you like to play? What's a song you, you, you'd like to play? You got, you got one of your new ones? or? Um, yeah, I'm going to play this new song I, uh, that I wrote this summer when I was, uh, I was in Pocatello, Idaho. I was in a Motel 6. And um, it's funny, I, and I, I know that 
like I know that you get this, and I feel like your fucking loser biker buddies will get this too. That like when uh, <laughs> he's talking to you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that when like as sort of shithead young men, like when you go out on the road, you you expect it to transform you, and you're sort of like looking for that transformation, and you get it. But it's never the transformation yeah. that you're looking for, yeah. right? No, like, exactly what it you're do, talking about. It does change you. It absolutely changes you. But it's never, it's never the way that you want it to, or the you know the way that you expected it to, or hoped that it would. Have meant. I pulled on yesterday's t-shirt. Got every single color of black rock and roll skull t shirt. Now remind me what I'm dying for. Feel like I'm losing the narrative. Speaking a language I no longer understand. So, uh, 
That was awesome, man. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you just turned into uh, Chris Farley on SNL. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, one time, you, that one time when you played that song, that was awesome. Uh, as uh, most people don't know, uh, I this actually was your idea. This well, was your idea. This is this was my idea because we we were just talking in your office about like you know the the importance of not owing people shit. I fucking owe you shit. And like, you don't really, this is but the, uh, wait, that's but the, I'm, that's but the yeah, I'm calling it in either way. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is, the, this is the least I can do. But yeah, we're, we're friends and this is, and our friendship is how this happened so that my family gets a private Mishka Shubali show because Melissa never gets to go because it's on like fucking Tuesdays. And shit. I know, I know. Yeah, you know, she has to get up early for a real job. Uh, and so I end up going to your shows alone. Um, I'm glad one person in your family is respectable. Yeah, yeah. It's, there's one, just one. Yeah. Um, so th this was this was great. I really, really appreciate it. Um, Absolutely, man. Yeah, no, it's not the last time I'm going to ask you for shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for my phone to ring in the middle of the night. The uh, let me uh, let me play one more for you. Yeah, please do. The um, this uh, I was like thinking about this on the way over here, like all the fucking road songs I got to play, and this is a cover that uh, Christine Levine wanted me to learn, and she you know she texted it to me, and I was like ah, I don't really do cover songs. I like you know I'm not much of a singer, and then I heard this song. I think I know what song you're talking about. Yeah. Hold on one second. Right. I... He's getting a beer. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> I was close. I was halfway through the second song, and I'm like, God damn, I'm thirsty. <laughs> you're Kool-Aid. So I believe I know uh, what uh, what song you're talking about. I call it the tweaker song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, yeah, this is uh, this by, uh song by Freddie Eagle Smith, Canadian songwriter, and uh, the song is called Trucker Speed. <laughs> Got her letter in an old mailbox I forgot I had in a little truck stop Read it once and then I read it again I could hardly keep from crying I've been riding around the last week or so In an empty truck, ain't got a load I don't care just to tell you the truth I might be dying And it's trucker speed Ben's a dream Percocet amphetamines Black beauties and West Coast Turn around When the coast is clear I'll drive with my knees Mix it all up in a recipe Coca-Cola and coffee to wash it down Sometimes I feel like my wheels ain't touching the ground On the side of the road he said you're a mess When I told him she didn't leave an address and he got another call Said wait right here I'll be back in a little while Put my head down Across my arms Slept on the wheel For an hour or more And I fired it up Headed off into the night And it's trucker speed That's a dream Work a set of better means Black beauties and West Coast turn around When the coast is clear I drive with my knees Mix it all up in a recipe Coca-Cola and coffee to wash it down Sometimes I feel like my Feels ain't touching the ground. I've been high.
I centered low throttled when I couldn't stop a peed in a bottle. I've been so lonesome. I make Hank Williams look like a party vibe. I've been beat up, broke down, loaded on a truck and driven into town. Always thought you'd be there at the end of the line. I always thought you'd be there at the end of the line. And it's trucker speed, Ben's a train, Percocet, amphetamines, black beauties, and West Coast turn around. When the coast is clear, I'll drive with my knees, mix it all up in a recipe. Coca Cola and coffee to wash it down. Sometimes I feel like my wheels ain't touching the ground. Sometimes I feel like my wheels ain't touching the ground. Sometimes I feel like my wheels ain't touching the ground. I know you like that song. Yeah, the loser bracket but it's connected to fight with that one too. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking of his plan and I'm like, I know Eric is feeling this motherfucker. <laughs> I know your demographic. What can I say, man? <laughs> and Eric is not one of my loser biker buddies. He's my loser biker brother for sure. Like super closest of homies. You guys, you guys got busted passing notes in study hall. Yes, yes we did. Yes, we did. But this is, as I said earlier, absolutely awesome. You're probably the only musician that Logan actually can recognize who it is. When you come on the, my YouTube playlist, I'm it's like, just, you know who this is, right? And he's just because like, I'm here all the time. I'm like, yeah, I got to get your dad to do a thing for me again. <laughs> <laughs> At the last couple of times you've been over, you, I don't think you had anything. I don't think I had to do anything. You just hung out. Dad, your weird friend is here again. Yeah. <laughs> all guy. All guy's here. <laughs> He's looking down at us as, as, as usual. <laughs> um, but I think that I think that's I think that's enough of you working for free. Uh, right on. Thanks for, for thanks the, for, for uh, having me here in your. Uh palatial country estate yeah <laughs> the playboy mansion yeah well you'll be yeah you'll you'll be making compliments like that come august because you know i have a pool it's great to be back <laughs> here in shop class yeah uh so thanks everybody for watching thanks mishka for Absolutely. all you do and uh everybody have a great week